So here's the table of it installing my BXB 88s in. Clearly it's the bottom. And there are the three of them. Here is um, the first one is basically I have three outer loops, just like you kind of see here, <clears throat> three outer loops. And that's the wires that kind of come through here and all eight of them go into there. And then it's return or common is uh, the four from there, which is then tied up to there. And then my second one is kind of like a, it's going to be a yard, a half of a yard. The next table has the other half to it. But I have uh, two of the wires kind of run off and go into there. One blank, so I'm only using seven of them. And the wires with the funny little bend in here, I put in here because I'm leaving more space open because I am hoping to be able to figure out how to put relays in here with a microcontroller and something connected up to the local net there that will allow me to turn the power off on those tracks when passenger cars are set on it so I don't have them all the lights on all the time. So then instead of putting decoders into the passenger cars, I'm trying to come up with sightings or spots to park them that I can turn the power off when I want. And then the last one is like um, an engine yard and a car yard. And that goes to here. But you can see I've gone in. I didn't like the way I did the uh, track on the top. So I want to go in and change it. But what I've done is I've gone in. Uh, it's two sets. So I have, there's a void right there. So there's one set and there's the other set. And that basically, if you're in either one of those sections, they run up to there. And that'll tell me. Uh, what's in there, but it won't tell me which one of the three tracks is on. Anyhow, it'd be a little more uh, obvious than the other. But point, what did I do is I wired up originally to the terminal blocks. Three of them, three devices. Here is the return for those three devices, or the common. And there's three within that little group. Um, I just recently installed the uh, local net goes to Lloyd's Toys part, and then the uh, cable runs along in there, comes through here, connects to the first, and daisy chains between all of them. And I tried, I just did a video on the power, so for the moment I'm holding off on power. I had lots of, I won't use the word problem, but I had lots of funny things going on, and I was uncomfortable with um, trying to eat the document said use 9 volts, so I'm going to try to find me a 9 volt power supply instead of using the Digitrax ones that are uh, 12 and 14. And then um, track power. Okay, wait. And then I also, when I do get power, I've got a power strip here, which then runs around. These straps actually hold it so it doesn't fall when the table's upside down. It runs, then it connects into the power strip on the next table. So clearly that's going to go across the table, go underneath the tables, that'll go underneath. And then here's my D DCC, DCC bus that goes across. You recognize the three wires. Um, I've kind of been changing my mind on what I'm taking across it, but I'm trying to take as little as possible. So there's where it comes in, runs across. And then for the moment, I've got it hot wired here because I'm thinking I'm going to put a terminal block here. But I wasn't sure what's all required, and I think I'm going to have a four uh, stationary decoders and these four spots here. So I was going to try to figure up one scheme for where to put it and how to hook them all up. And then right now, again, I use the word hot wire, but I have the power, uh, three powers, uh, three DCC powers that come in going to each one, go all back to here but I think I can reroute those and kind of clean them up a little bit. But I wanted to get a little more uh, mature on the layout and see how thing, how I like these devices because what I'm really trying to do with this is to uh, see how it works in JMRI and how they report um, uh, the transponding information and occupancy. And then also whether or not I like the way the uh, uh, short circuit protection works because there is a new part out here, PM74, which I think is really pretty neat looking at the information on it. 
and I am under the impression, hopefully, if it goes nicely, that I will do my other two tables that you see over there with uh, those devices. And then I'll figure out what if I got to replace or not. Again, this one has older stuff in it, and so I might, um, I think I figured up how to update it if I so choose. But we'll see how this works first, and then I'll decide what to do next. So anyhow, there is my uh, one of my tables, and um, I can connect actually these two tables together, and it's basically a th three ovals, big ovals. And then when I connect the other two tables in, it, uh, these guy uh, they go in between these two, and it's basically a U-shaped table. So anyhow, yeah, there is my installed EXP88s.